pilot engaged. Distant mists of time, tools have helped build our world. Look around. Every building, every house, every structure ever built was constructed with tools. At first, there was only one tool, our hands. Then we picked up a rock. And from that rock, Tens of thousands of tools have evolved for tens of thousands of different jobs. But back 23,000 years ago, we had one job, to stay alive. 23,000 years ago, man's only tools were. A rock, a stone, a stick and a bone. A rock, a stone. A stick and a bone, a rock, a stone, a stick and a bone, a rock, a stone, a stick and a bone. First there was the Stone Age, the Neolithic Ice Age came, followed by the Age of Bronze, and then came the Iron Age, but it all began. Welcome to Tool TV, brought to you locally by Berlin's House of Tools in Lombard and Palatine. With over 23,000 tools and accessories, Berlin's is where tools have evolved. Today's program is also brought to you in part by Delta, giving you the power of the pros. By Porter Cable, America's working class tool since 1906. By Bosch, engineered for performance. By Makita. By Milwaukee. By American Honda, Panasonic, The Tools Company, Universal Heaters, and by Husqvarna. And now, let's get on with the show! This place is amazing. Hi, I'm Dwight, The Tool Man. We're at the National Hardware Show at the brand new McCormick Place in Chicago. This place is incredible. You know, every August, over a thousand hardware manufacturers take the trek to Chicago to showcase their latest and greatest products. If you're ready, I'm ready. Show me the tools. I can smell the tools. We must be getting closer. I finally found a place with more tools than Berlin's. Well, maybe. Wow, those new blades will cut anything. They I'm sure here with will. Gary Compton, the group product manager for Jigsaws from Bosch. Gary, tell us what's interesting about the Bosch 50th anniversary Jigsaw. Well, Toolman, this is to celebrate 50 years of Jigsaws with Bosch. The first Jigsaw was based on a sewing machine. Is that right? And it's evolved over the last 50 years to what you see here. The 50th anniversary edition Jigsaw has an aluminum shoe, and there are two separate inserts available. One, a plastic Nomar insert. The second, a steel insert. It's also packed with a variety of blades and a brochure that comes with it and, of course, the 50th anniversary treatments. And it's got a great carrying case. This would make a great Christmas gift for any tool user. The best. Gary, thanks a lot. Sure thing. Glad to stop by. The Bosch 50th Anniversary Jigsaw Kit. 
In past episodes of Tool TV, we've shown you some fantastic electronic measuring devices from Bosch. And I'm here with Michael Gensler, the product group manager for the electronic measuring tools. Michael, what's new? Toolman, you're standing right in front of it. It's the latest and greatest in angle measuring. It's a protractor angle finder and gives you all the angles and more. Let me show you. Toolman, this is actually four tools in one. It's a standard level protractor and angle finder and a ruler. But the most important feature is the bevel and miter function. By the push of the button, you enter the standard spring angle of 38 degrees. Then you measure your corner angle. You enter it again. And then you just compute the miter and the bevel angle. And you're set for all the crown molding cuts. OK, yeah, that's great. So it's four tools in one. It's a great new electronic tool from Bosch. And you know what? I think I'd like to take it home with me if it's all right. It's all yours. The Bosch Protractor Angle Finder. I'm here with Ken Hefley, the Vice President of Marketing for Makita Power Tools. Nice suit, by the way, Ken. Great, thanks. We're, we're going to show you the LS1013, which has been out in the stores now for about three months and is doing extremely well. Ken, tell us a little bit about it. Our new LS1013 slide compound dual rail miter saw really addresses those contractor needs out there. We've looked at the marketplace and we determined what uh, the contractor's needs and we've addressed those needs by some unique features. First of all, we added a second linear rail, but in addition to that, we've added a second linear ball bearing here, making it the most accurate saw on the market today. We also incorporated a centralized control handle here. It's pretty hard to see. What that does, that enables the contractor to deliver the, the angles that he needs and snaps right in. Yeah, I've noticed that the degree scale is over on the right-hand side. That's unique. That enables the contractor on special cuts. You've sold me. Let's, let's just have a cut here. The Makita 10-inch dual slide compound miter saw. Hey, tool man, check this out. What the heck have you got there, this Ken? This is the world's first cordless concrete vibrator. My gosh. It's incredible. I'll tell you, that's what I like about Makita the most. Other companies have cordless drills and a few other tools. Makita's got a specialty tool designed for almost every building trade. We've got a cordless auto feed screw gun, cordless hammer drill, cordless circular saw, cordless tile cutter. We've even got a cordless chainsaw. All these tools, tool man, all take the same 12 volt battery. It's a big family of Makita Cordis products. This is great. Show me that vibrator one more time, Ken. Sure. The Makita family of cordless specialty tools. Hey, tool man, look at this new SDS inch and a half rotary hammer that we developed. We've studied the competition. This thing has got unbelievable features. It's got a cushion grip for operator comfort. It's got a variable speed dial control for special applications, and it also does demolition work as well. Not only that, this thing is the hardest hitting, fastest drilling rotary hammer on the market. You know, I've, Ken, I've heard hardest hitting before. Probably beats the operator to death. Give it a try, tool man. All right, let me try this one out. Wow, that's, that's effortless. You know, I don't think any company has spent as much time, effort, and money in developing a roto hammer line as Makita. There's a full family of hammers to fit all your needs. If you're looking for a good SDS Max roto hammer in the inch and a half category, check this one out. It's effortless. The Makita SDS Max roto hammer. Breaking news from the floor of the hardware show. Quarter Cables won another award, this time for the plunge router. The plunge router is available now in a new kit, the regular base and the plunge base. But what I really want to show you is another tool. Let's go check it out. This is the tool, the new Porter Cable Profile Sander. This is Leslie Bandu, manager of product development for Porter Cable. Les, what's new with the profile sander? Well, tool man, we've done three things. We've increased the stroke length of the profile sander by 50% to increase the removal rate. To control the removal rate, we've added variable oh, speed. Great. And we've also added new abrasives to stand up to the new demanding aggressiveness of the profile sander. Super. Well, there you have it. 
Porter Cable's taken a great tool and made it three steps better. If you haven't seen anything yet, tool man, let's go over and look at the new roofing nailer from Porter Cable. I can't wait to see that one. The Porter Cable Profile Sander Kit. Tool man, here's the tool I was talking about. The new roofing nailer from Porter Cable. It adds another tool to the already successful line of nailing and stapling products from Porter Cable. Let me check that out. Wow, is that lightweight. And like all Porter Cable nailing equipment, this tool will sell for 30 to 40 percent less than the competition. It's lightweight, powerful, and durable. Is it fast? Let's see it in action. Sure, tool man. Let me try that. That's awesome. Wow, is that fast. Porter Cable's done it again, I think, with this one, Leslie. Thank you, Tool Man. Porter Cable's also come out with a new line of air compressors. They're lightweight and powerful. But there's a size to fit all your needs, but that's a subject for another story. The new Porter Cable Roofing Nailer. I wonder what's going on back at Berlin's. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah, we got roto hammers. Sure, it'll cut stone. Some more satisfied Berlin's customers. And now, the continuing saga of the Tool Nut Widow. My husband has to have the latest, newest, shiniest tools. He's a tool nut. And I. I am a tool nut widow. I walk the floors, pacing, plodding, trying to figure out ways to take his mind off of tools. He spends so much time at Berlin's House of Tools, the most amazing tool store on the planet, looking at all the latest, greatest, newest tools that we rarely have time to go to the theater. But I won't let tools come between us because I, I have a plan. Wow, is that a great cut? I'm here with Al Muley, the territory manager for Husqvarna Chainsaw. Nice costume, by the way, there, Al. Thank you, Toolman. The two of us are very excited about this Model 51 saw, and the thing that's really got us excited is the price. This tool usually sold for $399 everywhere. They've been able, by engineering, to take $100 off the price, so the new price is $299. Al, what do you particularly like about this saw? Well, Toolman, this is our 3.1 horsepower saw. Two things I like about it is our air injection system, which pre-cleans the air, reducing your maintenance costs. Second thing I like is our low-vibe anti-vibration system, which reduces vibration uh, and eliminates something called white knuckle disease. That's great, so it's comfortable to use then. Excellent. This is not a small saw, it's not a big saw, it's right in the middle. Let's have at it. The Husqvarna Model 51 Chainsaw. If you cut metal, by now you should be aware or already own the Panasonic metal cutting saw. It cuts cool, clean, and quick. Well now Panasonic has brought out a new wood cutting saw that does the same for wood that the metal cutting saw does for metal. Let me show you on this melamine. That is an awesome cut, perfectly smooth. Now let's do a two by four. Less than two seconds for a two by four. And the cut is unbelievable. The wood cutting saw, fast, fine, and finished. Another new Panasonic innovation is their latest cordless. You know, seven major manufacturers introduced their latest models within the last 12 months. Panasonic waited, they've got a 15.6, it's 390 inch-pounds of torque. I love it. As a matter of fact, I'm taking these home for my own. The new Panasonic 15.6 volt cordless drill and wood cutting saw. You know, as you're watching this episode of Tool TV, it's probably not all that cold. 
but it is time to start thinking about portable winter heaters. And National Riverside Universal Heater Company has got a model to fit any of your needs, 23 to be exact. We've got a 700,000 BTU Torpedo Propane. We've got four different models of propane infrared. We've got convection propane. We've got natural gas if you've already got your gas hooked up. We've even got three models of kerosene. The one I want to emphasize today, though, is the new 150 FAST. It's a torpedo forced air heater that puts out 150,000 BTU, and it's thermostatically controlled. So it'll save on gas, and you won't overheat the job site. Take a look at this baby. You never have to babysit this one. It's automatic thermostat control. The Universal 150 Forced Air Propane Heater with Thermostat. When we last saw the Toolnut Widow, she had a plan. Here's my plan. I am going to get a job at Berlin's. That way I'll get to see my husband, the Toolnut, more often. When he makes one of his frequent trips to Berlin's, I'll be there. I'll call Berlin's now. Hello, Berlin's? Yes, I would like to apply for a job. Qualifications. Well, uh, my husband is a tool nut. <laughs> no, no, the job's not for my husband, it's for me. <laughs> no, I'm not a tool nut, but uh, I relate very well to tool nuts. <laughs> of course I know what a cordless auto feed screw gun does. Come on. You know, in the old days, if you wanted a straight line, you'd use a chalk box, a plumb bob, a level, or a transit. But in recent years, lasers have taken over. And I've got one here I just can't believe. It's by Robo Laser out of California. Comes with a remote control. It's self-leveling. Got the brightest beam I've ever seen. And it's super affordable. This is $299. Come on outside. I got to show it to you. How's that for brightness on a sunny afternoon? Hey, Cindy, come on over. This is Cindy Rogers from the Tools Company. They're the manufacturer of the Robo Laser. Cindy, what else should we know about this fantastic tool? Well, Toolman, you already covered the price and the remote control functionality. Um, we're also very proud of the accuracy, which is one eighth of an inch over 100 feet. That's amazing. How do you do it for less than $300? Well, the best engineers in the world are those who can engineer in cost reductions without compromising quality, and we've got the best engineers. Congratulations. you got a great tool. Thanks. The Robo Laser from the Tools Company. You know, Honda generators are world-renowned for one thing, dependability. When you've got an extreme condition, Honda's the correct choice. Recently, Honda generators have been up to Mount Everest. They've gone through the Persian Gulf War. Wherever there's a tough situation, there's always a Honda around. You know that song by Tom Petty, Won't Break Down? That should be the theme song for Honda generator. I'm surrounded here by many of the 23 different models that are available. There's a model and a size that's the correct choice for you. Here's Tim Landry, the manager of Berlin's in Lombard. Tim, what is it that your customers like so much about Honda? Our customers require a generator that always starts they can depend on. If they get to a job site it doesn't run, they're out of business. You can't have that. So for dependability, get a Honda. Break them up. Come on. Oh, look like a hole. Generators by American Honda. For a better look at the tools on today's program, stop by Berlin's House of Tools in Lombard, a half mile south of Roosevelt on Finley at Oak Creek Drive, in Palatine, a long block north of Lake Cook Road. Well, I didn't get the job at Berlin's. I wonder if Tool TV is hiring. Okay, we're back at the hardware show. Let's go look at some more tools. I'm here with Chris Carlson, my good friend and senior product manager from Bosch Power Tools. We want to show today is brand new 1278VS Sander. It was the hit of the Cologne Tool Fair in Europe. Chris, tell us a little bit about this great new tool. 
Well, what this is, uh, is a product that's designed to allow you to bring the power and stock removal of a belt sander in confined areas where other tools just won't go. It's got a 3.3 amp motor, variable speed, and it has a belt that sits at the end of the tool, can go under obstructions, and it's very handy, light, and well balanced. That's great. Let's see it work. Will this work on metal, works on mica? Virtually any surface, sure. Great. This tool is great in any confined area, whether it be wood, metal, solid surface material. What a fantastic performer. The Bosch Compact Belt Sander Kit. Oh my, is that smooth. This is the Bosch 1295DH Random Orbit Finish Sander, but there's something unique about this one we need to know. Chris, tell us a little bit more about this tool. Hey. To begin with, it's got the most powerful motor of any Palm Random Orbit Sander in the industry, and it has two ranges. You have a fine finishing range, you can switch in the bottom position, you can do this fine finishing like you were doing, and if you put the switch in the up position, we have another mode for fast stock removal, which we call the swift sand mode. And you can use that for removing old finishes and all kinds of things where you want to have a more aggressive sander. And then when you want to uh, go back down to fine finishing, throw the switch back in the position. So it's really like two tools in one. There you have it. It's two tools in one. All right, if I try it in the fast... Sure, great. Whoa. The Bosch two-speed random orbit palm grip sander. You know, in recent years, I've noticed a resurgence in the use and purchase of half-sheet sanders, and for good reason. They're very versatile, but this one's unique. Chris, tell us a about a few of the features. Okay. This is our new 1293D, which is a professional quality half sheet sander. Uh, it has a very powerful 3.2 amp motor, a dual row ball bearing for the output bearing, which gives great smoothness and a terrific finish. And one of the things that this tool has that most other half sheet sanders don't is it has through the pad dust extraction, which will collect either in a bag or you can use a hose with it. So that adds versatility to the product. Wow, that's great. Let me let me have at it here. Sure. Try Give it out. There's no vibration. Oh, you could work with this all day. That's great. The Bosch 1293D half sheet sander. This is definitely a great new tool. The Bosch half sheet finishing sander. Say, if you're accustomed to using a big, heavy 13 amp or 15 amp grinder like this one, Milwaukee's come up with something you've got to see. I'm here with Brian Thompson, the National Training Coordinator for Milwaukee. I'm doing great. Brian, take it away. Show us, tell us a little bit about this and show us how it works. All right, Toolman, like you said, carrying around this all day can get kind of heavy. So what we've done is taken almost all the power and put it into a small package, into a four and a half inch and five inch grinder. Not only that, you have the choice of a quick lock cord for easy field replacement. You got variable speed on the back to, to optimize your accessory usage. And you got a fully adjustable guard that requires no tools to adjust. Simple thumb movement. This is great. I'll tell you which one I'd like to use all day long. This is great. Try it. Let's okay. show them how it works. Woo. Lock, pull off the safety lock off here. All right. The Milwaukee 12 amp mini grinder. Wow, what a nice hole. The 18 volt Milwaukee Sawzall was so popular that now Milwaukee's added a new drill. Brian, tell us a little bit about this 18 volt success. Okay, basically this is uh, just your average uh, D-handle drill with the 18 volt battery pack. Plenty of torque, plenty of power. You got the pressure right behind the bit and a nice side handle to keep things under control. For the plumbers and electricians, you got a D-handle version. Basically, get between the studs or run your, run your wires. You know, it's yeah. getting to the point, Brian, where we just don't need cords anymore. It's getting to that point. Milwaukee's got an 18-volt hammer coming, a whole family of other 18-volt tools. That's Fantastic right. power. the Milwaukee 18-volt cordless family. For another look at the tools on today's program, go to the Toolman's website at www.thetoolman.com. I'm 
here at the Delta booth and I'm waiting to see Mark Schieffer, the director of marketing. Hey, Tool Man. Hey, Mark. How hey, you doing? Great. Sorry I'm late. I just finished demonstrating our new 10-inch compound power miter saw with a customer, and man, does that saw cut great. Nice tie, Mark. What? What do you mean? Oh, well, you know, as a wise <laughs> tool man from Berlin once told me, tools, not ties. Ah, oh, that's great. Show me what's new with the 12-inch. Sure. Customers gave us some great input on this saw. First thing you notice is a sliding fence. Great for cutting crown molding vertical, up on edge, instead of flat. Ah, oh, nice and tall. We've also added a 15-amp motor, most powerful tool in its class. And finally, on the job site, time is money. So everything's quick release. The miter table. Turn it, put it in position, release, it stays. Not a lot of hand twisting and tightening. That's great. Let's see it cut. Fantastic. Great. Delta invented the miter box. There's 12 different models to choose from. There's one that's perfect for you. Mark, what's next? Hey, tool man, come with me. I'm going to show you a tool that really sucks. I can't wait to see this. The Delta 12-inch compound miter saw. Tool man, this is what I wanted to show you. <laughs> You're right, Mark. This really does suck. You know, in earlier episodes of Tool TV, we told you about the new line of single-stage dust collectors that were on their way from Delta. And now they're here. Mark, tell us a little bit about this one. Well, this unit has some great features. First of all, it's 1200 CFM. With two dust ports and a blower housing, you can hook up two machines at the same time. Oh, that's great. Supports a full set of casters so you can move it anywhere around the shop. And the bottom line with this unit is that it's a great value to help keep the shop dust free. Is it powerful? Yeah, you want to hear it? I do. Great. Uh, no, no, <laughs> wow. They really are powerful. Sorry, tool man. We'll get you right out. The new line of single stage dust collectors from Delta. Thanks, Mark. The Delta Single Stage Dust Collector. What would we do without tools? We wouldn't get anything done. That's true. <laughs> this is the new Versa Feeder from Delta. I can't believe how compact it is. Mark, tell us a little bit about this great Delta item. Tool Man, this is the first stock feeder under $300 that's versatile enough to fit on virtually any woodworking machine. All these adjustments and the Delta exclusive support arm allow you to turn this head to virtually any direction for any stock feeding application. The, the unit supports variable speed, forward and reverse, and has feed, range, feed rate ranges from 10 feet per minute to 46 feet per minute, again, for added versatility. You know what, Mark? I really like the accessory mounting plate because you no longer have to drill through cast iron to mount the unit. That's Let's right. turn it on. Okay. Look, Ma, no hands. And that's the key, keeping your fingers away from the blade and helping prevent kickback truly make this a no bleeder feeder. Mark, I know a lot of woodworkers that are going to love this new tool. Thanks very much. Sure thing. Appreciate it. The Delta Versa Feeder Stock Feeder. Visit Berlin's House of Tools in Lombard or Palatine. Thanks for watching Tool TV. Now we're in the computer age, and still we develop tools, the tools of cyberspace. But it all began with a rock, a stone, a stick, and a bone.